release that information. You can count on all of us. Welcome back to your first alert weather. It's actually still a pretty calm night for most of our areas in Lawton and Duncan. We haven't seen those showers moving through yet. On the radar right now, we're still tracking a pretty strong storm to the northwest of Elk City. There is still a hail core there, so we're seeing a bit of stuff coming down, but that velocity has improved greatly. We're not really seeing that spin as much, which is a good sign because this was a tornado warned storm earlier. We're still seeing about pea-sized hail with this storm. We'll continue to monitor it as it continues to make its way towards the northeast. But our severe risk for today, we still have a slight risk towards I-44. And anywhere east of that, just a little bit of a risk for some thunderstorms. Noelle is going to talk to us about what we saw today earlier. Western Texas and eventually what happened is as they moved into parts of our area we'll continue to let uh, he, what's, pass it on over to you now. Yeah we did see some storms earlier and now we're looking at this line of storms. This was what we saw moving from the panhandle earlier. It's moving into our area now and it's starting to break apart. You can see there's a lot less momentum to this than there was earlier when these were pretty strong supercells. We saw a lot of tornado warnings today but that won't be the case as it makes it into our locations. We're looking more in the central here to the west of 44. We could see some pretty heavy rainfall with these storms. I'm not thinking it's going to be severe or anything. And once it starts to clear out, we'll have a pretty nice night after that. It's going to be pretty dry tomorrow morning. And our future rainfall, though, like I said, we could see some pretty heavy rainfall. We're almost up to an inch in Lawton. So this is going to give us that localized rainfall that could give us a chance for flooding behind those stronger storms, but they're seeming to move pretty fast now. But our next rain chances will be Tuesday into Wednesday. We're looking at this upper low move in, bringing with it another cold front. So we could have another chance for uh, thunderstorms and some rain showers, and some of those could possibly be severe. We don't have an outlook on that yet, but if you look on Tuesday night late, we do have a couple pop-up showers in the eastern part of our area towards 35, but then Early Wednesday morning, we have this line of storms that lines up between 44 and 35 there. And some of these could become pretty rumbly. We have a lot of convective energy in the air here. A lot of this is where we're not seeing those rain showers as much. But if you look along 35 here, we have pretty high Cape values, especially down near DFW. They could see a pretty active weather day Wednesday morning where you can see that very high Cape. So we could have some pretty rumbly storms in the western port, uh, portion of our area here, and that's going to be late Tuesday night into Wednesday. But tonight, it's looking like a pretty mild evening. We're actually not going to drop too cold. For most of us, we'll stay in the 40s, a couple of 30s out towards the west. And tomorrow's going to be pretty nice. We'll warm up quickly into the 60s and 70s for Oklahoma and Texas, so it'll feel like a spring day. And our seven-day forecast is showing that springtime pattern is continuing. We'll see that rain back off tomorrow morning. Monday and Tuesday will warm up. We'll see that cold front move through Tuesday into Wednesday, bringing another chance for some thunderstorms we could see. And then into Thursday and Friday and Saturday, we'll start to dry up. And it should look like a pretty nice weekend ahead. But again, we will have to watch these storms on Tuesday and Wednesday, because if there is enough energy there, we could start to see some of these storms be a bit rumbly. We could see a chance for some more severe weather, but it looks like it mostly will just be some rainfall for now. Obesity in kids is on the rise, and it's putting children at risk 